Okay, so uh, in this video, I'll talk a little bit about love addiction and codependency. Uh, as I sort of see it, love addiction and codependency is just a, is just a normal program within everyone's ego. Uh, originates um, with the, bas the basic animal programming and also the imprinting uh, of a child. Uh, that the source, the source of love and care is the parent. Uh, this is probably then projected uh, throughout life that the um, source of love and care is then projected onto other humans. Um, so the, uh, the illusory idea is that w one needs to get this love externally to feel whole. And it's projected. It can be projected onto romantic partners, or onto friends, or work colleagues, or, or whatever. So, how, if you wanted to transcend uh, codependency or love addiction, you'd have to undo that belief system uh, of projection of specialness or magical qualities, or higher powering, or, or the course might say making a false god. Uh, or a false idol uh, out of someone, you'd have to totally release that programming. So one of the ways to do that, uh, well there could be many ways to do that, but w one would have to have the intention to, uh, to get the source of love from within. So if you remember, St. Francis said that what you're looking for is where you're looking from. So before your, uh, before your ego, before your thought stream uh, is the source of eternal love and light. So if you're in your ego and your ego is projecting that another human being is the, is the source by making it special or idolizing a person, then you have a disconnect from the source within. So the first thing to transcend it is, are you willing you ask yourself, are you willing to fully let go of this idea of making somebody or some person outside of yourself um, special in any way and imprinting them with special qualities? Are you willing to 100% let that go? And if the answer is yes, then you can do the cancelling of beliefs. Like, I cancel my belief that any person... Uh, uh, I would go through the people who are currently special in your life and say, you know, I cancel my belief that my mother is special. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. But probably special is too generalized. How do you make her special? Is she supposed to be the, you know, um, so you might want to let go of any grievance, any attractions or aversions uh, around how you make her special. Is, uh, you may make her special because she gives you compliments or you may make her special with aversions because you don't like some of the things she says to you. So you want to fully like cancel, or as the Course in Miracles says, make these totally meaningless. They're just projections. You make them totally meaningless. They're as meaningless <coughs> as any as a cup or a table or as any other word that is said. You may, or if there's facial expressions that you make meaning, you can make those meaningless. Also, if you if there if you're a, a typical codependent or love addict you probably will have an energy which is projected onto people quite regularly whereby uh, it's like this, this needy energy will constantly make people in your life special or if you're a love addict you'll constantly be making the next romantic partner special and the ego will just project those qualities on and make them special. So another thing to do is just to sit with those energies that tend to project outwards. If you're feeling needy or love addicted or codependent or wanting affirmation from a person or wanting approval from a person, instead of labeling it, you can just sit with those energies uh, and, and feel them out, just sit with them until you feel neutral and whole and you felt out all of these energies and just cancel any thoughts or beliefs or specialness or make them meaningless through uh, you can also apply the course lessons, I pray for a miracle to see this person differently. The Holy Spirit will understand that your intention is to let go of the specialness that you're projecting on them. Or say, God did not create this person 
as special and so it is not real. The other key thing to letting go specialness is to use the observer. Uh, just generally in interactions where you're around people who are quite special or enigmatic or important to you, uh, when that energy and those thoughts are arising in consciousness, just see, be the observer of the, the you, your thinking, or the, or the special allure that is happening, and just be the detached witnessing when, this, when these energies are arising. And then you'll start to dissolve the, the, the projection of specialness. Specialness is not real, it's an illusion. Every moment is whole and complete as it is, so you'd just be dissolving these dualistic energies out. So the key thing for me is just to have an intention to let go of specialness from all your relationships. Uh, and those are some things that you could be doing to release those energies.